What's up, everybody? They are back. We're coming back very soon. Uh, big shout out to my guy Hop, friend of a friend, was able to get a pair of the new Mac attacks and offered uh, if I wanted a pair, and I said, heck yeah, I do. So uh, thank you again. I appreciate it. And very cool that we can actually look at a dead sock pair. These are size 10 and a half next to the size 9, the original. Um, so yeah, the, it's a great shoe. You know, first time retro, they did a really nice job on them. For a first time retro too, sometimes it's kind of kind of disastrous, and you know, leather may not be that nice, but the leather on these are very nice. I wish like the Flight Light Two got the treatment that these got, because they are they are pretty spot on. Just nice mesh. Other differences? Yes, we'll go over that. There is plenty of differences, but um, it is a really nice shoe. Um, also, I just thought I'd break out. I have some original Mac Attack pants, Nike, and you'll see the tag if you pay attention. Uh, they're a little different between this and I have a black pair also. But they're both made in Taiwan. We'll pop the tags here so you can see. You can see that checkerboard reflection. Just gorgeous, gorgeous material. Kind of, you know, reminds you of like the OG Nike tags that you see on the shoes too. So made in Taiwan at the bottom. So there's the white pair. And really, these are even more satin, like just freaking amazing. Um, plan on wearing them. They are medium, but they're kind of long. So I plan on wearing them with the uh, the new retro. And we'll take a peek at the tag. You notice the font was a little, a little shorter on the Nike. And this one, the, the layout's different. The other one, this one's tucked back. So again, made in Taiwan though, so. They made some changes. We'll discuss some more about that as well. So yeah, John McEnroe wore the shoe, 85. They released originally. And uh, through 85, 86, you know, they had production dates. Um, I think there might be an 84 also, but I could be wrong. Um, but I believe I had a conversation about that uh, with one of my OG collectors on uh, on Instagram. But yeah, just a great, great release. John Macro, like I said, no, no hype, all history. You know, it's a uh, really cool shoe that, you know, has been come of late to be um, noticed, you know, by some more hyped crap, but I don't really care about that. <laughs> so, you know, I had these well before. Yes, Michael Jordan did wear them. Yes, I actually owned this pair before Michael Jordan. Uh, that kind of broke. I think Big Bo posted it. And I'm like, oh, and he, another reason to love this shoe. So it was kind of a cool thing. But as you can see, the boxes are very different. You got a darker gray here and a lighter gray here. Um, they do both drop over the top like this. I know there was some confusion or, you know, people asking questions um, about that. So this, as you can see, it's a slide box. It comes all the way off. Take a peek at the OGs. They're absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, this slides over. And this it kind of stops here. It's like three quarters. This goes all the way down, which is really unique. And just one of my favorite boxes. I think it's just it's just amazing. It's really cool. So I'm glad, you know, again with like the flight light too, could have brought, you know, the OG style box back, but um they did a cool job with this, you know. It's not, it's not, I, you know, identical, um, but they have the same aesthetic, obviously. So it says Nike Attack Quick Strike, um, with light smoke gray, black and white. I don't know. It says Mac Attack here, so I'm not sure if that was a thing where they paid McEnroe for these when he was doing them um, with his name, because his his name's not really on the new one. So just kind of a side note, I just noticed that uh, a little while ago. So. Um, interesting though, but yeah, kind of give you guys, you know, an idea of the boxes and the height. So there's going to be a little size difference between, uh, the comparison, but not too drastic. It's one and a half sizes and, uh, we're going to do that next. All right. So to start, we're going to look at the front end view of the shoe. And obviously you see now that we just have the boxes standing up the size difference. Uh, but yeah, these are definitely, they don't have to be this wide. Like it doesn't have to be that big of a box. And they made it pretty massive again. Um, I wish they made it a little more sleek because these feel like perfectly in this box. And sometimes like they're Jordan 10, you know, they get kind of smashed in that narrow box, but these actually fit perfectly in a narrow box. So space saving would be cool. 
but yeah, again, they just continue to waste cardboard. Uh, but yeah, just a side note, still a cool box, but could have been a little more slim. All right, so for the shoes, um, you guys are probably like, wow, there's, you know, some oxidation, but the first thing that you'll probably notice is the, the gray is a lot lighter, a lot lighter gray on the original. So you got some oxidation on the laces. You can see that, you know, it faded a little bit and just in general, uh, the gray is lighter. The leather on these are really nice. You can see like the grain. It's really nice. They really, they did a nice job on, this is a little more firm, um, not tumbled, but it's just got, you can see the grain a little more than you can on the OG. Um, but soft, you know, it's got a nice soft feel. Uh, the mesh here, it's just a little wider. I know there's a size difference, like I said, but even with the size scale, I believe it's just going to be wider cut in general. Uh, the width down like the laces here, it looks good. I mean, the line for line, it looks pretty nice. No, uh, no really discrepancy there. Um, you can see the toe kind of curls up a little bit more so on the, on the retro. And the OG, it just lays really flat, like we see on a lot of the originals. It doesn't look really bad. You know, it's not like super banana toe, like the uh, 22, 2022 Jordan 2, per, per se. But it definitely has a little bit of a curve to it. Um, the tongues, I really like the, the checkered tongue they did. Really mocked the original. The size, it's just a little longer cut. And the Nike font, obviously, is not nearly as large like this just fills out and you can kind of see it's kind of reflective you get in really close you can see like the just the stitch lines and how it kind of reflects in the light just beautiful that's what i love about those og tags so this one it's a little bigger and i'm also going to put a few slides in so you guys can see um this is the st factory and my guy rudy he had a pair of st and i forgot th i think um but it'll be a slide of three and basically showing you guys that there was ST Factory had two different types of tags that they changed. And I think this was the last one they did, um, which I prefer. I prefer this tag. But there's three different examples of tags from two factories. Um, and then you'll see the side of the stamps also, including my pair. Yeah, just different, you know, adjustments when they were making the production of the Mac Attack. Uh, heights are definitely a little taller. Could reflect size definitely with the 10.5 to a 9. Uh, but yeah, layout is pretty It's pretty spot on, you know, with, uh, with the, you know, along the, the laces, um, like the width of the tongue. The padding in the tongue is a little, so it's a little more padded than the, than the retro. It's pretty, it's pretty thin on this one. Uh, we're going to take a look at the heel next. Okay, so we're at the heel now, and you can see that the height is, again, a little taller because it's a 10 and a half. Um, so, you know, one and a half sizes, but it looks about the right scale. I think they are I think they kind of hit it on the, on the you know, right on the dot there. Uh, midsole is a little wider, so it's a little more narrow. So it's close. Maybe the midsole is making this retro a little taller. Um, not hugely different, but just slightly. Uh, if you notice, the Nike branding on the original is actually, it's got slight italic to it. It's a little larger. And this one has, I don't know if you've seen the light. Maybe if I move it. It has, oh yeah, right there. You can see it has kind of a gloss finish to it. So I didn't even actually realize that until I was doing some pre-recording video before this. And I was kind of hitting it in the light. Um, but it definitely does have a gloss finish. Uh, but the heel does look good. You know, again, you can see the gray is a little darker than the OG. Um, tongues, you can see the padding. It's, you know, pretty, pretty plush. This has definitely got some, some uh, more padding here. And this one, I didn't unlace them. Maybe I could have. But yeah, you can see it's just really, it's really thin. But yeah, again, the tongues look cool. They got the, uh, you know, basically line for line. The checkered actually rolls around to the back here, as you can see. And it says "Made in China" at the bottom, and here it ends at the uh, back of the tongue. But on some of those OG tags, you'll see like how this gray strip is stitched over. But on this one, it's truly wrapped around, which I prefer. It's kind of like the conventions, the Jordan ones, the uh, the big Nike, all that you know, all that same era, like the wrap around tongue. So that's definitely my preference. And they did it here. 
Um, obviously, the tongue wasn't perfected, but it looks pretty good. Uh, next, we're going to look at the toe-to-toe -to -toe shot. Here we are with the OG undefeated toe box. So once again, Mac Attack 1985, nice and sleek. Uh, that's definitely the first thing you'll notice here. And this is raised. It's got a little bit of a curl from the midsole, and uh, just not it's not as aerodynamic. But it looks good. It's not it's not really bad. It's not as lifted as like the 2022 Chicago Air Jordan 2 per se, but it definitely it's definitely not as flat as the OG. Um, but yeah, you get to see like the shape from like the midsole and the way everything curves around just so sleek and everything just flows so nicely. But they did a pretty good job. I mean, again, first attempt looks pretty good. And then after the toe box, when you kind of come up to the side panel, you will see this kind of rides lower where the mesh comes down. And even here, and everything's kind of more elevated on the new retro. The midsole itself, um, I believe maybe these will be a little taller, just looking more and more at this retro. See how wide the midsole is in general. It's just got a it's just got a little thicker molded midsole. It doesn't look bad, but it's definitely, you know, even from size scale from ten and a half to nine, it is a little wider. Uh the mesh is really soft. This is like really nice. It's got a little bit of a sheen to it. Just beautiful. I love the OG mesh on the side panel here. And here it's a little, it's a little stiffer. Um, it's not quite as soft. Obviously, it's new material, so you know, maybe over time this did soften, but not likely because it's not like it's breaking down. Uh, but yeah, just really high quality material. The swishes look pretty spot on. Um, it's pretty much like the leather that you see here and here, but like, you know, like the Air Jordan, you know, one, you got the, the big Nike, how they have that kind of like nylon. This is kind of how this feels. So similar to that. Um, yeah, but yeah, just some, you know, construction differences for the most part you can see throughout from the toe box, like I said, on the side panel. Um, but yeah, they did a, a pretty, pretty solid job with this. Uh, next, we're going to look at, we're going to just flip it and then look at the medial side. All right, so we're here at the medial. Same, you know, same flow of the toe box. Uh, this comes lower. Again, you see uh, this is, you know, it's stitched over right here at the, at the corner to meet. So you can see how much more space there is, basically. Uh, wider midsole, definitely more narrow here. Um, kind of the same notes. But yeah, construction, it's a little it's a little different. You know, just a little, little bit of a different shape to it. Uh, but overall, overall looks pretty good. Um, we're going to go, we'll go heel to heel, like a side view, so you guys can kind of see the height and the collars um, next. All right, so now we're back to back heels, and the 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 shape is a little different, definitely on the original. It kind of angles in. This is a little more vertical, um, and I know some of them. I was talking with Rudy actually that gave me the references for the other, and some of the the collars are built differently um, between you know different factories or even the time that they went. I think more so with the factories, um, but yeah, the padding is a little it's a little more padded, like on the OG. This is a little little thinner. This isn't as like the new or, or the OG Air Jordan 3s, how it's got like very, very thin padding. This is just a little more padding than that. Uh, but you can see this is a little wider space to where the collar's at. It's got kind of a nice flow to it, kind of curves around more straight. But obviously, like we pointed out with the Nike branding is a little different. More space here. It's a little wider. Yeah, just the lines are just a little different, but give you guys like a good close up so you can kind of see. How the OG looks, and even with like the original, you can see some some variances. Um, like these holes are a little higher cut on the other shoe. Um, I've seen well, my pair pretty good, like the back heel, the black um, little patch here that they put on. Sometimes you've seen like with the originals, it's a little one's a little higher than the other, just like different shaped cuts. But in general, you know, there's no such thing as a perfect shoe. But obviously, the OGs are heavily superior over. Um, but yeah, even with the swooshes, you know, this one looks a little lower and this one looks higher than the other shoe. So <laughs> it's like even with the newer stuff, you know, this one's coming to the tip. If we pop this one in, it's a little, just a little bit shorter, but nothing, nothing crazy that looks, you know, terrible. Um, but yeah, just, you know, minor differences that's not reflecting always within the actual specs of the shoe, but just like the construction overall, even like a simple silhouette. Uh, we're we're going to look at the outsole next. All right. Uh, yeah. Again, the gray. First thing you'll notice is the color. This is a lot. Uh, not a lot. It's definitely just a darker gray. Uh, this is definitely lighter gray. 
The tooling, though, I think on the retro and the shape of it, they did a really good, nice job with it. You know, it does have a little bit of a curl. You can see here, like we see when we did toe to toe, even looking at the front end of the shoe. Um, but overall, like they did a nice job. Like the stars come down just a little bit more off the front of the toe box. This kind of ends here a little sooner. Um, just very minor tooling that we see that's a little different between the retro and the OG. Uh, the retro logos, they nailed that. So that's cool. I'm always looking for little details like that. Uh, just this this kind of um, texture tread here at the back, it's a little different. This one's a little wider. This one's a little more narrow, a little longer. But again, very minor. Um, it definitely was like a new retooled sole, and they, they really they duplicated it pretty nicely. So I was pretty happy to see that because it's very it's a very unique outsole, very flat, you know, low riding for for tennis play, keep you lower to the ground. Um, so it makes sense. But yeah, I think uh, overall, and, uh, Nike, Nike crushed that one. All right, so that will do it for the comparison video. We had the 1985 Mac Attack, and we had the 2023 Nike Mac Attack. There's no error about it. And uh, I like to rate the shoes, the new retros that come out. And for this one, first time the Nikes brought them back, maybe the last time, who knows? You know, some shoes come back n numerous times, like we've seen with the twos and the sevens lately, always the elevens, for example. Um, but yeah, these may or may not. And, you know, I think they did a really nice job on them. I would give them a solid eight and a half out of 10 compared to the OG quality construction. Um, really, really nicely done. So good job, Nike. Um, and, you know, pretty excited. Hopefully they bring back the white colorway. I'm hearing rumors. Um, definitely would like to get those as well. So don't forget to uh, subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram at OG or bust. And we'll see you next time.